All right, welcome back, everyone. Here to continue our courtroom coverage is former defense attorney Ronald Chapman. We thank everyone for coming on. Tom, Ronald, your thoughts on how the cross-examination goes, how it should? Yeah, absolutely. So what you have to do here is you have to start with the ultimate conclusion that you want the witness to draw and then draw a map all the way back to the beginning and get that witness to admit exactly what you want. And here's what I would do with, with Michael Cohen. We heard that audio tape that secret recording audio tape that was created by him. On it, when Trump is talking about potentially paying in cash, Michael Cohen essentially offers to take care of it. And then he's, he's, he's cut off, he stops himself because he's being recorded. That is the moment where Cohen is setting Trump up in order to protect himself if things go bad. And that's exactly where you need to go on cross-examination to show that this is all about saving Cohen and nothing else. Uh, Ronald, I want to ask you this. Uh, the prosecution, I, I mean, had to have known we were all going to say this about their witnesses. It's true. I mean, my God, it is true here to Tom's point. This is all about election interference. Don't talk about Joe Biden. Uh, smear Donald Trump, trying to convince voters one way or another over what's really a tiny case, a tiny amount of money. Yeah, well, as a defense attorney, the best thing that you can do is make the prosecution rest their case on the testimony of two grifters. And that's exactly what Stormy Daniels and certainly Michael Cohen is. Uh, the jury knows from their personal experience who these types of people are. Um, they, they know from their personal experience who these type of people are and and how they make their money and, and how they end up uh, being involved in this case. The reality is uh, that these two witnesses will not be enough to support a conviction against Donald Trump. And the prosecutors didn't have anyone else. They were figuring their case out as they were actually trying it. And they got testimony uh, that was unfavorable. Hope Hicks was mentioned. Uh, David Pecker didn't really provide the testimony that they wanted. And so this is all they have left. And um, it's going to be a quick decision for the jury. All right. We will wait and see. We appreciate all of your insights, Ronald Chapman.